big story this morning is that AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon users um, are experiencing a cellular outage. So this is a pretty significant cell phone outage affecting um, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. So we'll get more details from Fox News Radio coming up. But that's a that's a breaking story this morning. Let's see what stories are trending. What's trending now? Add them on Facebook. Let the tweeting begin. The hashtag does that. News and views from Belf's News Gallery. Well, Donald Trump this week confirmed the uh, list of names on his vice presidential shortlist. This was during that town hall event. In Greenville, South Carolina, Laura Ingram um, hosted this. was on the Ingram Angle on Fox News Channel. So Trump ran down his potential running mates and uh, Senator Tim Scott, Vivek Ramaswamy, Governor Ron DeSantis, Representative uh, Byron Donalds, uh, Governor Kristi Noem, and... Former Hawaii representative Tulsi Gabbard, Trump said, are on his short list for VP. Also, Donald Trump said he's ready to face off with President Biden on the debate stage. He challenged Biden to a debate. He said, I'll do it right now on your show. I'll challenge him right now, Trump said. It's not likely that uh, Biden would uh, would accept that, and Trump understands that. And, and he said, um, he was asked about who would you take as debate moderator, and Trump said, I'll take anybody. And he said, of a debate, Trump said, I think you have an obligation in this case. You really have an obligation to debate, as many as necessary. I could do it starting now. And then he was asked, well, do you you believe that the president will debate you? And he said, no, I I really don't think so. Also, the White House saying yesterday it's canceling $1.2 billion worth of student loans. That would affect about 150,000 people over that. And so... They're moving forward then with a piecemeal solution to the debt forgiveness pledge after the Supreme Court had struck down their earlier plan to cancel $430 billion. So now they're canceling $1.2 billion worth of student loan. And the education secretary, uh, this is... a. Uh, Education Secretary Cardona said, with today's announcement, we are once again sending a clear message to borrowers who had low balances. If you've been paying for a decade, you've done your part. You deserve relief. Also, New York Attorney General Letitia James uh, vowing on Tuesday to ask a judge to seize Donald Trump's assets if he does not pony up on that $355 million judgment against him. So that story is still trending. She told ABC News, if he does not have funds to pay off the judgment, then we will seek judgment enforcement mechanisms in court, and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. This is a tragic story trending about a, a, a young girl who was, was believed she's around five to seven years old, who had dug a five to six foot hole on a beach in Fort Lauderdale on Tuesday when it caved in on her and her brother. He was buried up to his chest and was able to be removed. She was completely buried and sadly it killed her. Just an incredibly sad story. Also, um, Alabama 
is trying to put a second inmate to death using nitrogen gas. Remember they had done that just recently, about a month? The state carried out the first execution using nitrogen gas, and now they're proceeding to move ahead with another execution. Also, a United Airlines flight departing from San Francisco on its way for Boston had to be diverted to Denver because passengers spotted that parts of the plane's wing were chipped. One passenger on the flight said he caught sight of the damaged wing and began recording it. He is uh, 67 years old. He said one of the pilots had walked along the plane's aisle before announcing that the flight would be redirected to Denver. So his video shows a plane wing with a dark blue tip. Then, and the slat of the wing appeared to have broken off. So it was jagged looking, you know. And then in another part of the video, several people in orange vests labeled as tech ops appeared to be repairing the wing. And he could be heard saying in the video, can't wait for this flight to be over. Oh, I bet. I bet. (laughs) Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is why I do not fly. (laughs) No, No, I'm joking. All right. Uh, Beyonce making history as the first black woman to top Billboard's country charts. So she managed that after her single Texas Hold'em steamed straight to the top, debuting at number one. So since its release, Texas Hold'em has been streamed over 19 million times been downloaded over 39,000 times. So Beyonce making history as the first black woman to land the top spot on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. Pretty incredible. New figures from the gambling industry showing that uh, America's commercial casinos won over $66 billion, that's where the B is in, boy, $66 billion from gamblers last year. It was the gambling industry's best year ever. So these figures were released by uh, its National Trade Association earlier this week, the American Gaming Association. They said the total was 10% higher than in 2022, which... Itself was a record-setting year, so one record-setting year on top of another. Google is apologizing for its new Gemini uh, AI. Have you seen this? This is crazy. So uh, the latest version, then, of Google's uh, Gemini artificial intelligence. Now, remember, they renamed that recently. They named it Gemini, the Google Bard, so on. And this is all part of Google's Gemini. So it's producing images um, uh, diverse then, and I put that in quotes, the word diverse, diverse images of the founding fathers of popes, of Vikings. So in one, there's George Washington, who in the image created by AI is black. And then you get, uh, there's some pretty, pretty outrageous um, popes that are, you know, presented, um, And so Google now apologizing for that and saying that Gemini's AI image generation does generate a wide range of people, 
And that's generally a good thing because people around the world use it, but it's missing the mark here. Do you think? (laughs) Do you think? (laughs) Also, um, you know the song Hotel California? It's an Eagles favorite. I love it. It's one of uh, Rock's most popular songs, Hotel California. Well, there's a criminal trial involving three men that are accused of um, they're charged with conspiring to own and try to sell manuscripts that um, belonged, I think, to Glenn Fry of the Eagles. They're trying to sell them. So they were conspiring to own and sell these manuscripts that were then written by, written by hand um, their lawyers say the men obtained the papers through a writer who had worked with the Eagles. So the three men are facing uh, charges. Again, they've been charged with conspiring to own and try to sell these manuscripts. I think the pages include um, lyrics from from songs like Hotel California, You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Pages include lyrics from other songs like Life in the Fast Lane, New Kid in Town. And so the manager for the Eagles said these documents are irreplaceable pieces of musical history. Also trending this morning, an Arizona prosecutor has taken a swipe at Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg this week. She said on Wednesday she would not ship a suspect in who is accused of a hotel slaying in the Big Apple. Uh, she said she she would not ship him to the Big Apple. She said it's safer to keep him here. This is the Maricopa County Attorney who said this man who was wanted in the beating death of a queen's mom at a Manhattan hotel earlier this month. She said he'll remain behind bars in, uh, in Arizona because of Alvin Bragg's track record handling hardened criminals. And she said, I know there's been a discussion about New York wanting to extradite this individual This is not aimed at the New York Police Department at all. I know they did a hard job. They did a good job. But we will not be agreeing to extradition. I've instructed my extradition attorneys not to agree to that. She said, we're going to keep him here. These are mandatory prison sentences. Having observed the treatment of violent criminals in the New York area by the Manhattan DA there, Alvin Bragg, I think it's safer to keep him here and keep him in custody so that he cannot be out doing this to individuals either in our state, county, or anywhere else in the United States. So what you are seeing here is a a prosecutor in Arizona saying, no, we're not going to release this prisoner to Alfred Bragg, absolutely not, because we don't trust Alvin Bragg. His record is just appalling. If you know anything about Elvin Bragg, and oh man, it's just crazy. And then who he chooses to go after, I would be very concerned. I would not live in a lot of these areas. I would not live there. I wouldn't. The, I mean, and you see more and more cases of this where it's selective prosecution. It's and it becomes political, and certain people who will be prosecuted and others who absolutely will not. It's become a big issue, I think, and it's not just in those areas. I think this is an issue then for anybody who's traveling to those areas, so on. That's why I increasingly I just feel really comfortable where I am. Thank you very much. (laughs)
Other stories trending this morning. Do you remember Commander, the German Shepherd Commander owned by President Biden? There are stories out this morning that are trending that Commander was responsible for more bite incidents than we heard about previously. Commander was involved in at least 25 biting incidents in less than a year. USA Today says the Secret Service has released over 260 pages related uh, to this, and it, it included a table with the 23 incidents from October 22 to July of 23. And that doesn't count some other incidents the, of which you and I are aware. And then finally this morning, story trending about a, um, a 34-year-old Colorado man who died this month who was bitten by one of his two pet Gila monsters. And it, it's a rare event. According to authorities, they say, you know, uh, one doctor said, I think this case highlights any venomous animals should be respected. And that's, you know, the vast majority of bites cause local swelling and bleeding, but deaths are pretty rare. Sadly, it happened to this man. And those are the stories trending this morning in Belf's News Gallery.